Yeah. Are you serious, serious? You see this? <laughs> see this? See nothing. What are you talking about me behind my back? Why, why, why does everyone look so sad? Does are, nobody have thermometers? They're all running because Jim is about to start. Why do, they, why do they look like this, Burke? Jim's about to start talking. They're all running. Oh. Okay. None of us check superheat. Do you ever think of that? All right. Here we are. Me and Jim, first stop of the day, the most important one. We're gonna grab some lunch. We're eating at a really nice place, Publix. <laughs> All right. I want the full experience. Here. Yes. That's right. He's gonna live life like I live life today. <laughs> Publix Deli. Woo! What are we gonna have? Left Jim standing at the register because I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Hope he pays. Whew. Whew. You didn't pay? I gave you plenty of time to do this. All right. I didn't want you to feel bad. I would have felt really bad. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't have slept. For a week? <laughs> That's normal, though. That's right. Jim's got to carry the bag today because he's the helper. Yep. <laughs> Trainee, trainer. I'm gonna see what I can unlearn him. <laughs> oh dear God, I'm gonna need help. Yeah, you will. <laughs> so we have the van off and the windows open, even though it's 130 degrees outside. Maybe hotter. And 100% relative humidity, which is a real thing in Florida. Because my AC's not working. And Jim, as capable as he is, in this industry, could not fix it. So, that was a waste. When was the last time you changed your cabin filter? Cabin filter? <laughs> what are those? Public subs, high quality. They're really good. Mm -hmm. They should pay the people that work there. <laughs> it's a good one, Jim. Can I use that? <laughs> So I got a question wrong this morning in class and and Jim swore at me. So either it's and then this is the thing in the world. Maybe it's the fact your brother can't I feel better now. It made me feel really uncomfortable and everything, but he was trying to tell me that water density, like vaporized water, is less dense than air. So there's like less mass in the air when there's more humidity. Add water, less mass. <laughs> He's always trying to say crazy stuff like that and then convince you that it's true. You see those clouds up there? Yeah. Why do they float? <laughs> if the water was heavier, they'd be down here with us. <laughs> no, let's not, let's not go overkill with this. It's a good moment we had. We have to roll up the windows so Jim can talk, and I mean, we're dying in here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good idea. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Alright. So, any chance this is overkill for, <laughs> for the service call? Three of the no. greatest technicians on the planet all all here together the three greatest you might argue i'm more interested in the unit we did install okay all right. all right have you made any um obvious observations yet about this one yeah the outdoor condensing unit's not running there's condensate running on the ground so either it's frozen inside because the indoor fan quit working or the condenser or the maybe the evaporator's dirty okay. or maybe that it's the homeowner doesn't know how to run the unit what what's happening you tell them about our first call yeah that's good yeah, it was a there. crazy. Yep. We're dripping water and our condenser's not running. Oh. Okay, so it's sort of frozen up? Yeah. Still? Yep, still. Cool. Right in the middle of the excitement. Follow me. Alright, fix this problem, Jim. Can I get you a ladder? Sure, it'd be great. Are you safe on a ladder? I'm safe on a ladder. Talk to this guy. Talk to who? 
guy is annoying as the dickens. <laughs> Who gives me a selfie stick? This is the stupidest thing in the world. I like that face. Ooh. <gasps> no. <laughs> What it's we definitely got? frozen up. We got ice. We have ice, yeah. And we have thick ice, too. A burn, burn, burn. Try to be as respectful as possible. Right. Outside. I'll wash them. Please do. Thanks. Thank you, Bert. For you, Jim. You're quite ha helpful. And handsome. You almost said handsome. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go clean the filters. Do work, Bert. Bert, why don't you go out and, and do that cleaning? Well, you can do that cleaning, Bert, while we stay in here and say some fancy words to each other. You know, you like you hit it and then it changes and then it like, you know, you know what I'm saying? The sun hits the earth, it generates superheated gases that create our atmosphere, pushes into space, but the gravity pulls them back, and there's a delicate balance between the pressure on the earth and the gravity. Uh, they're referring to transmorphicator, transmorphicator, transmorphicator. It's okay, I know my place, and I'm happy here. Honestly, I'm just happy to be here with you guys. <laughs> it's a little overkill for a mini split. Sure. About six pounds low. That's completely normal. It only holds three ounces. <laughs> He's calling tech support. <laughs> We're really struggling. We're not going to see the coil breathing in here, are we? Why wouldn't we? It's in the cooling mode, right? Uh, there was still a little bit of ice on there. <laughs> but we're good. Cool lines covered nice. So much so I can't even pull the, the insulation yeah. back already. Pump, 44 PSI. He's looking at Measure Quick right now. Measure Quick? What's that? Some kind of weird science? There we go. As soon as I switch it to R12, it's got 13 degrees of superheat. <laughs> Looks good, actually. <laughs> That's perfect. That's how people who are really big in this industry and been around know how to fix problems right there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the wireless charging method. You just change the refrigerant, get the right saturation temperature, whichever one you want. <laughs> That's perfect. Could you hand me the uh, Phillips bit inside that screwdriver? I'd be glad to, Bert. It's the least I could do. It is the least you could do. You could actually do a lot more. I could figure out how to do less than wood. It looks like you're doing a great job. <laughs> I don't want to tell you how to do my job, but... It's so fun having Brian, because he actually laughs. All day, Jim didn't laugh. He just kind of looked at me like, right? Would you like to spray the lower fittings, too, just for your enjoyment? Yes, because I, I do think it's going to be down there. Oh, there it is, boom. Yep. That was quick. Down here. See, if you, if you, um, if you're good at your job, <laughs> you just you, get it, you just get you it. Talking, you man. find the leaks right away. Right, just like when you said there was no oil. And, yeah, well. And, and I felt it and said that, I, I thought I felt a little something there. And you were, well, you know, I didn't want you to. <laughs> you guys need to stop fighting. We need to get, do you have a torque wrench? I, I'm sure you have a torque wrench. Just seeing if it's loose. It's not loose. I think I'd just take the gas out of it and check the flare. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we remake all? That's a horrible idea. I mean, it's, you could quote both options. Or we could just check the flare. Yeah. Or we could go through remake all of them. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. That, that's the price repair right now. Alright, we'll email you a full description and a price to come back and repair it. Yeah. Sure, no problem. Okay, bye. Wow. After all that, for all that fun, he tells us no. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. It is what happened. Yeah. All right. So we just got to wrap this back up. But while we're here, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, and check out this new unit we installed. Yeah, we yeah. just installed this unit yeah. just a couple days ago. Yeah. And when I called the manager, he's like, why is your brand new unit not working? I'm like, bro, it's not my brand new unit. It's this garbage right here, cool in the garage. <laughs> and he's like, I don't want AC in my garage. Well, here we are having fun for no reason. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay. So we're going to have a little measure quick fun over here. All right. Measure quick is going to fully uh -huh. diagnose the system. Right. We're going to report. And tell us what's up. Yeah, yeah and the house is 71 degrees when it came I mean, out. The split's just a hair off. It's looking for a 20, 22 degree split. We're at 24, so we're within all within range. But are you, but are you at 400 CFM per ton or 350? I'm at 350. Are you? You sure? But this doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, this is just what the target is. Right. So when you're going into the indoor readings and you see your, your target, it's based on that target off 1750. So if I go here, see how, see how the current value is 1430? Mm -hmm. if, if I go into the information here and I tell it that it's even 450 CFM per ton, right? When I go back into the indoor section and go back to the target, it's still 14. 1400 okay, right, it's, still, yeah, okay, it's just sure. looking for a higher target right okay so it it's calculating independent of the target it doesn't matter what you tell it it's this is all about uh, this is again profiling to make sure you're getting the right profile right you know a higher suction a higher a higher uh, airflow would also give you a higher suction pressure which well, that's but that's the again is is the airflow a problem given that we've got this nice sensible heat ratio mm -mm, no no, no i wouldn't i don't think our suction isn't you know yeah i mean it's it's common. looking looking really good Everything's looking really good. That's what I mean. The only thing that you might pick up is a little bit more sensible cooling. If we, right. we've increased the airflow, dropping latent, increasing sensible, but we've got a 0.72 sensible heat ratio. Right. So this is more about comfort than efficiency, but you know, I don't think we'd pick up uh, enough to, uh, to quibble over. I mean, it's so close right now. Right. We're looking for a, a, 20, a 22 degree uh, temperature split, and we're at 24.8, we're two degrees off on temp split. So plus or minus three degrees on temp split is usually or right. is usually spot on. So I, I, mean, I, so, so I wouldn't mess with this. The thing to do if I was wanting to optimize for efficiency, efficiency at this point versus comfort, and again, we're in a heavily latent market, would be to you know, just check, double check the fan um, caps on this blower and just make sure. Yeah, so we got slightly low airflow. We got a slightly high change in enthalpy, which is what we expect. Higher change in the enthalpy change is good for the airflow. Temperature splits in the high end, right? But look how look how much water we're pulling out, 15 pounds per hour of water, right? If you go to the indoor measurements and we look at uh, most performance on that, I think it does gallons per hour. It's 1.7 gallons per hour. I mean, that's ringing water out of the air. That's a lot of moisture. And then we go back in here and uh, let's take a look at our readings. I mean, we're supposed to have a, uh, uh, a seven degrees of subcooling. That's within range. Superheat looks good. Suction line temp looks good. Uh, so everything on here is okay that I see. So the red flag is just is because of what? Because of the airflow? Uh, it's saying it could be a restriction in the liquid line. Let me see why it's, why it's even kicking that out there. And it's because the liquid line temperature is too low and the condenser pressure is too low. And I think that's because you're out there, that, that thermometer we got outside, we lost it. So let's go in here. Let's just look at this for just a second. And it's uh, about 80.4 80 degrees. And at Testo, we're just out of range of it. Okay. So let's go into outdoor and um, let me just go in and, and oops, let me go in and disconnect the Testo for a minute. I don't know if I'll be able to wipe it out, wipe it out without uh, without resetting it, but it'll be real quick if we got to reset it. So I'm just going to deactivate that. Home outdoor measurements is going to lock that in. So let me just do this. We'll restart it. We'll just reactivate these. Home. Go to the outdoor air ratings. Oops, it's indoor, outdoor, and we'll just change this to 80, hit done, and uh, we'll give that just a second to stabilize, but we'll hit clear in there and there's no system-wide problems okay, on there. So it's just the, just the sensor. Right, so it's just a sensor on there, so we'll just leave that run for just a minute. But that's it. It's yeah. looking, it looks look good. So we just don't have a discharge line temperature sensor on there. So, cool. yep. It's good. You didn't uh, think about love bugs in your in your nylog, John. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look at these bugs making love. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Little perverted bugs. Seriously. No. It's a plague down here. It really is. Like, look at, like, like me and my wife. 
bugs. I'll just make him little bug babies. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not making any more jokes. Okay. Alright. Go say goodbye to Jim. That's it. <laughs> it's me again. Hi. Hi. <laughs> any, any final words about riding with me today before you head out? How was it? It was the best experience of my life. <laughs> that was, best that was, experience that was of the, his that life. was the roach. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about the roach. <laughs> I did. My hand's a little infested. <laughs> Thanks. It was fun. It was great. All right. All right. Bye. I loved it. Bye. Bye.